right, welcome back to Key Arena. The Sonics win over Houston tonight by a final count of 105-85. Before we talk about tonight's ball game, Gary Payton would like to make an announcement and introduce you to a very important individual in his life. Gary, I'll turn the microphone over to you. Uh, thank you, guys. Um... Today is a uh, kind of a special day for me and um, for my uh, dear friend BJ. Um, she has cancer. Uh, two years ago, I met her when we went to the children's hospital, and she was very cheerful. Uh, she has been fighting this cancer for a long time. Uh, she's getting real sick right now, and today I decided that you know for her to remember me or, you know, to get better, and I want her to get better. I dedicated this game to her. And I'm gonna give her my game jersey today. And I just, you know, hope that you get better, okay? All right. BJ, we're, we're glad you could be here to be a good luck charm for the Supersonics and for Gary Payton. Thank you very much for coming out here tonight. I know it took a lot of strength for you to do that. We appreciate that very much and your support. BJ Simpson with us tonight, 17 years of age. And on Valentine's Day, a big win for the Supersonics. Uh, this was a fun game. Marcus pointed it out. He said, hey, the thrills and the chills are back. This is kind of reminiscent of the way this club played at home last year. Well, yeah, this is the way we, uh, we, be, we should have been playing all along. Everybody's been saying we've been struggling and doing things, but we knew the second half was coming, and, and I think we're playing great basketball right now, and if we can keep it up, uh, we're going to have a lot of fun in the second half. Now, Gary, you, uh, you made some comments uh, during the All-Star break about, hey, I'm going to have to just take it up a level. I'm going to have to carry the ball club a little bit. You picked your spots tonight, particularly in the third quarter. You just got to work. Mario Ali just didn't have a chance against you tonight. You were, you were able to spread the floor and go one-on-one -on -one in low and break him down. Well, you know, um, it's all on my hands anyway. I mean, a lot of the guys on the team is always dependent on me to do a lot of things. Uh, I just got to pick it up. If we win or lose, it's all on my, it's on my shoulders. I'll take the blame. If I can get them energized and start playing the kind of basketball we know that Sonic team can play, uh, then it's a lot easier for our team. The Lakers coming up on Sunday without Shaquille O'Neal. It's a different club, but very capable of winning, as the Bulls would tell you, without Shaq. Well, we can, you know, I think we can play against them. We've been in a game uh, both times against them, and I want my $100 from uh, Van Exel. <laughs> <laughs> you, you and all your teammates, right? That's the bet. Yeah, we just keep our mouths shut, but uh, deep down inside of us, uh, when somebody put a challenge on us like that, uh, we're going to come out to play, and uh, Sunday is going to show. Very special night for uh, the Supersonic fans, for Gary Payton and for B.J. Simpson. B.J. again. Thanks for coming out. You were definitely a good luck charm tonight. And Gary, best of luck Sunday against the Lakers. Thank you. Gary Payton with us tonight. The Sonics defeat the Houston Rockets. Final 105-85. On Sonics TV, we thank you very much for joining us. Hope you'll see us next Friday night when the Sonics meet the New York Knicks.